and welcome back to now tonight too uh we are going into miami my health is uh <laughs> falling down probably a good thing that i got an a rating here so my last stop for gas thor barnes boat would take me the rest of the way mapo drone landed on my car and deposited a carry package here we go mapo quest one success quest two success gain 20 health nice Three success. Okay, nice. I uh, A grade earned. Check A grade tracker. Well, let's see the A grade tracker first. I have two A grades now, which is not a lot considering how many jobs I did. <laughs> My phone rang. Hello, Kevin. This concludes your free mempo trial. What is that so? It'd be great if you didn't m mention our assistance to anyone. It's not suspicious or anything. If anyone asks, remember, Mempo is your partner in location and delivery services. Nothing more than that. So you don't need us anymore for that secret operation of yours? Any Mempo home security items you purchased and any grade days you achieved will be recorded on our servers and pooled. They hung up. I didn't trust Mempo one bit. Uh, you shouldn't trust any corporation. Either way. <laughs> so, but I couldn't have gotten this far without those drone drops. That's true. I had enough to worry about for now. Well, once we free Eduardo, I want some answers. It was a long way to Miami, even via boat. First to the coast. Gas, 500 bucks. 500 bucks? That's crazy, man. Drove to to I drove toward the coast. In disbelief that my way to Miami was finally clear. Oh, an event. I arrived at Virginia Beach, a small fishing boat awaited. Thorborn led me below the deck. The back wall slid away to reveal a hidden compartment the size of a closet. To my horror, five faces stared back at me, illegal border crosses like me. I squeezed in and hoped I didn't have to pee anytime soon. The fishing boat rose and dipped with the waves. Our bodies were clamped, crammed so tightly together so we didn't fall. Onward to Miami! Another map event here. The journey was long, hot and cramped. I searched the others' faces. In them, I saw shades of Eduardo, the way he frowned when he defended Bargors from unwanted advances. How he had my back when troublemakers tried to jump me at Honeybee's door. And the worry that I felt about what we were walking into. We passed around shared bottles of water. But we were growing weaker by the minute. We needed food. I wondered if I had something to help. Um, oh, yes. Oh, that came in handy. I shared them with my shipmates. Immediate smiles of relief all around. My mom always had my back, just like Eduardo, just like Marie and Malik. Thanks to them, I went on an incredible, uh, incredible trip across the US and saw so much. Gain 20 morale, gain 20 health. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I needed the extra health, so that's very cool. I couldn't wait to renew, reunite with everyone, to tell them about Dave and the Knights of Camelot and everything else. I lost track of time. Had it been days, weeks? And onward we go to Miami. I know this song is pretty generic, but kind of it kind of sticks with you, man. <laughs> like you can't see me, but I'm really bopping my head to this. <laughs> and I I really enjoyed the music, by the way. Finally, the humidity gave it away. We had docked in Miami. Probably can feel the heat as well when you come down from the boat, Marie. I'm finally on my way to Miami. See when you get, when I get back. Yeah, and Eduardo, be careful. I'm here with Marie. Remember, whatever happens, Kev, don't lose hope. What's going to happen? Huh? That's not ominous at all. What? What's going to happen? Uh, I'm scared now. Miami. I had finally made it. 
I got off the boat and went straight to the gulag. The guard directed me toward the line. Visitors, strangers, and inmates alike stood together. I held the passport tight and waited my return. Miami Gulag. Miami. Mother's own USA. Mothers await the arrival of another special guest. Okay, all set for my shift, boss. All oh, right. This is this is the beginning of the game, essentially. Our next special guest just arrived. He made it. Great boss and a passport. He's got it. Process him as normal. You know what to do. Yes, boss. One more thing. The gulag is filling up. Regardless, you may need to source a new facility or share ideally. Anything I can help with? I'll figure it out. For now, one of your bronzer counters would be useful. I need to keep a detailed record of the current gulag capacity. Of course, sir. I'll try and source a spare. Okay, speak later. It's probably going to take mine then. Alright, I still want you to replace that painting number 201. Yes sir, I'm trying to start a replacement. Dog paintings are quite hard to find these days. Okay, see to it when you can. Well... Let's check the capacity here, before we start. The president was right, the gulag was filling up fast, and those sparking outlets are real fire hazards. If a fire started, this entire building would go straight and up in flames. I need to find a replacement. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's go. Sarcasm. Hey. Um, yep. Get. So, no, this is B. This is the easiest one of them all. I mean, I know it's gonna get a little harder. No, it's B. You still use a pal locked up. Lions versus matter tensions rising, kidnappings and disillusions on the rise. Mapo take over our fuzzy burger near its completion. LARPing in Montana. Has fun gone too far? Mapo drone service to expand to modern territory. Las Vegas deadly wa water shortages continue. Kevin is captured, his fate unknown. But what of Malik, who traveled south? We returned to Seattle one month ago and follow his journey. Oh, it's not over. The Honey Bee, Seattle, Washington, USA, January 1st, 2021, one month ago. Okay. Um, well, I think... I think I still have a little bit time, so I guess... You know, I just started this episode, so I'm not gonna stop it soon, I guess. Uh, this is... This is pretty much a flashback, essentially. So we are gonna be uh, Malik now. I've never seen a real family tree before. Never did ancestry and me. I doubt it goes back that far. Sorry, I'm talking my head off because I'm nervous. He'll be fine. Eduardo's tough. This will be a breeze. Okay, Malik, you got this. Don't talk to yourself the whole way there. Might scare off scare off the monitors. Yeah, yeah, I'm leaving. Take care of yourself. Always. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I think I remember seeing that I will be playing three people. So the first one was Eduardo. Second one is going to be Malik. And the third one is probably going to be Marie. So there you go. But how? Is Malik even a bouncer? Kevin's car was shaggy but reliable. I blasted my music and enjoyed the warm west coast wind. I had 50 bucks to somehow get Eduardo's family tree in San Francisco and then get to Miami. I'll need to find work, quick. 
Uncle Terry, it's Malik. Can I stay with you? Need your help with that thing. Wait, sorry. No? Uncle Terry? <coughs> I haven't crossed the Cali barrier since I worked for my uncle years ago. Uncle Terry's business was already crumbling way before the alliance formed. I approached the border point, glanced at my wind, a radio. Uh, turn it down. Good afternoon, sir. I don't know if it's good yet, son. Let's see some ID. Here we go, Malik. Just like mom and dad taught me. Okay, I'm reaching for my ID right now, sir. Why the hell are you not raining? Just do it. Here's my bouncer ID. Ha! The lighting in these fo photos always makes you folks hard to see. Oof, whatever you say, sir. Why are you trying to enter California? I'm here to see my uncle. We just have some family business to deal with. Like I haven't heard that one before. I'm sorry, sir, but it's true. Here I... Whoa, 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 whoa there. What are you reaching for, huh? My phone, sir. Here, I sent him a text. I showed him my text. Uncle Terry never responded back, of course. Can I call him? Sure, why not? This should be good. I called. No answer. At this point, I wasn't surprised. So, you're a liar? Great, here it comes. If you can afford... If you can afford a car like this, I bet you can afford to negotiate. I coughed up the money. Eduardo would have done the same for me. You lose money. 30 bucks. Ouch. Okay, we're gonna be treading into some racial stuff, obviously, in this section here. Don't overstay your welcome, kid. That's a warning. Officer Law, let me go through. Great start, Malik. Wonder if Kevin had any trouble getting through to Canada. Ah, uh, I did. I did. I arrived in San Francisco. Okay, I think I'm gonna be stopping just before I start the uh, San Fran job here. I know, I know, it's not a lot of the job uh, stuff uh, in this episode. Hey, Kev, how's the trip? Been low key looking up any foodie spots along the way. Dang, send pics. I'm on my way to Cisco. You, Montana. Okay, stay safe. See you in Miami. Okay, so um, this is gonna be it for this episode. Because uh, I want to do a full gameplay of Malik's section as well. So I don't really want to start the job for this section here. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this short episode. Because it's uh, it's the ending of Eduardo's episode. And I want to do the full start of... I, I just feel it's unfair for you guys to watch just one job that I'll be doing for Malik whereas I've been doing two jobs for um, Eduardo's journey so uh, I don't know how long it will take normally I roughly know from the demo that I took with Eduardo but because I just remembered that there were going to be three people uh, that I'm going to be playing from the perspective of um, it's just going to be very weird if I, if I suddenly stop halfway through so that's going to be it for this episode uh, make sure to watch the next episode which is episode I think it's episode 10 or 11 by the time I'm done uh, I'm really doing this on the fly guys so I'll see you guys in the next video bye